people are fundamentally pro-legal immigration and anti-illegal immigration. We will only pass comprehensive reform when we recognize this fundamental concept. When we use phrases like undocumented workers, we convey a message to the American people that their government is not serious about combating illegal immigration, which the American people overwhelmingly oppose. If you don't think it's illegal, you're not going to say it. I think it is illegal and wrong, and we have to change it. Above all else, the American people want their government to be serious about protecting the public, enforcing the rule of law, and creating a rational system of legal immigration that will proactively fit our needs rather than reactively responding to future waves of illegal immigration. People who enter the United States without our permission are illegal aliens, and illegal aliens should not be treated the same as people who entered the U.S. legally. People who enter the United States without our permission are illegal aliens, and illegal aliens should not be treated the same. Between 2005 and 2009, a vast amount of progress has been made on our borders and ports of entry. The progress includes construction of a 630-mile border fence, or 630 miles of border fence, that create a significant barrier to illegal immigration on our southern land border. These measures have contributed to what the New York Times reported on May 15, 2009 is, quote, an extraordinary decline in the number of Mexican immigrants going to the United States, unquote. Concentrate on saying the people who should be here are those who come legally at this time. And we've got to, for the time being, enforce our borders. The day when America could be the welfare system for Mexico is gone. We simply can't afford it. And I think you've seen the figures to state and local governments of what the cost is. It's over $2 billion to enforce our borders. To have a situation where 40% of the babies born on Medicaid in California today are born of illegal immigrants creates a very real problem for the state which is in deficit. Okay, of course you can seven, enforce the borders. Let me finish. I agree. To have 17% of our prison population at a cost of $300 million a year, the illegal immigrants who come here and commit felonies. That's not what this nation is. Like. Just because your child gets across the border, that doesn't mean the child gets to stay. So we don't want to send a message that is contrary to uh, our laws or will encourage more children to make that dangerous. Okey-doke.